Hello and welcome everyone. Now in this video we are going to uh, solve the question which is visible on your screen. So in this one we are provided with an equilateral triangle of uh, side 60 mm. Now this triangle is perpendicular to both horizontal plane and the vertical plane. Okay. Then uh, the next information that is given to us is that one of the corners of triangle is on the horizontal plane. So basically one corner will be uh, one corner of uh, projection will be on the xy line and edge through that is inclined at 45 degree to the, to the horizontal plane. Now you need to draw the projections of uh, this triangle. So in order to understand this question the first thing that you need to do is uh, basically just try to find in which plane we are going to draw the uh, projection first. So uh, this triangle is perpendicular to horizontal plane and perpendicular to vertical plane. So it simply means that uh, front view and the top view of this triangle it will be a line only. Now the view formed on horizontal plane is the top view. So it will be a line because it is perpendicular to horizontal plane. Now uh, view formed on vertical plane is front view. So this will also be a line. So in order to draw the triangle properly we will have to draw side view which will be drawn on profile plane. So to understand this, uh, to draw this, I am going to draw an xy line like this. Then to separate uh, the profile plane with horizontal and vertical plane, I am going to place a line like this. Now uh, the information that is given to us is equilateral triangle is there. So equilateral triangle can be drawn using polygon command. So I am going to use polygon. Now specify the number of sides. So number of sides are 3. Now we have, uh, we don't have the center of this triangle, we have the edge of this triangle. So click edge, then we need to specify the first end point of an edge. So I'm going to specify any point on line itself. So select this and second point, it should be at a distance of uh, 60 units and angle should be 45 degrees, press enter. So this is how the triangle will be located. Now uh, information is uh, basically we, we are going to move this particular triangle by some distance like this. Okay. So this is the side view of that tri triangle. Okay. So uh, in order to represent a side view we will have to uh, mention the points with double dash. Okay. Now before that before mentioning these points I am going to draw the projection lines. Okay. So select ray command starting from this and in this in this direction as well. Repeat the same ray command start from here like this and like this. Now for this particular case repeat ray draw it like this and in this side we already have a line so we don't need to draw. Now these are the projection lines okay. Now if we draw the uh, view that will be on this side. So, we will be drawing the view uh, using these projection lines. So, simply draw a line like this and trim the non required portion. We are uh, enter and trim this line. Okay. So, this particular line will be our uh, which view? This one will be our front view. Now, in order to draw the top view, we will have to again use the projection line. So I am going to use ray command, ray enter, start from this one in this direction, press enter. So these projection lines, they are of uh, no use to us. So first what I am going to do is I am going to increase the line weight of these uh, lines so that we can uh, separate our objects from the projection line. Okay. So let us trim the portion that we do not need. Now these lines, these are not needed uh, to us. So what what is the information, what is the thing that we need? So we need to bend these projection lines. So for that I am going to use arc command. Okay. So using start, center and end. So we need to draw an arc starting from this one. Center should be this point and end should be on this one. But arc is being drawn in anti-clockwise direction. So, so to shift its direction simply press control button and place it like this. Now we are going to do the same for 
other two projection line as well. So for that I am going to use offset command. So specify this distance as the offset distance and click on this R and this is the uh, value. Now same case we are going to do with the next projection line as well and it's done. But this particular uh, line it should be a little bit longer so extend use extend command and extend this line the center now use ray command and draw the projection line in this side as well repeat start from this one like this repeat start from this one like this and this is the other side now the line starting from this particular point and going till this point will be the top view of this uh, triangular lamina. So click on this line, increase the line weight to the value that we wanted. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to name these uh, values, uh, name these uh, corners or points. So for, before that trim the non-required portion in this side as well as in this side. Now let's name them. Now I'm going to uh, start from point A. So use mtext command, mtext, press enter. This point, specify this point as A double dash. Now this is side view, that's why we are using double dash here. So make sure you are using the same nomenclature, A double dash. Then this particular point, this should be, let's copy it. Let's paste it here. Let's paste it here. Now this one will be B dash, B double dash. Okay, instead of A, just mention it B double dash. Now this one will be C double dash. Now once we are done with this view, the next thing is mentioning points on these lines. So paste. Now this is front view. So instead of double dash, we will have single dash and this point will be C dash. Now for, for the next case, paste it here, now I am going to change it a little bit, I will shift the same again. Now this point should be B dash, after that this point, this should be A dash. Now shift this a little bit like this and enter. Now just select all of them, control C and paste it. Now make sure that uh, these points they are as per the alignment of this particular projection. So this particular point this one will be A. Paste it here it will be A because this is top view so dash will not be there. Then this particular point this one will be B. Okay so use it as B and this point this point here, this one will be your point C. So this is how you are going to draw the projections. Okay, projections are done. Now we are going to uh, give it a little bit aesthetic appearance. So right click, select similar, select similar, but we don't want to select the lines. that are the part of main drawing. So just select the lines that are only projection lines. So I hope all the projection lines are selected and change their color. So instead of by layer, use a different color like this one. Now we are going to give dimensions. So go to DIM. Now place the dimensions like this. Now this side we are aware about in this one. So this side is 60. We are going to uh, draw the angles as well. Now 
in order to show the angular dimension select this line and this line and this angle will be 45 degree now i'm going to select all of these dimensions and change their color right click select similar now all of the dimensions are selected change their color to anything other than the available colors and this is your complete question so i hope all of you have understood the drawing and uh, in case of any doubt feel free to comment in the chat box or comment box that's all for this video thank you very much and have a nice day